Alright guys, I'm back with my predictions for this Sunday's Hell in a Cell 2012 pay-per-view. Um, I also want to go ahead and mention that I did plan to have my 600 subscriber shout-out video up today, but I'm going to have it up sometime tomorrow. I just want to go back through and make sure I don't miss anybody or leave anybody out. Um, so that should be up tomorrow. But as far as Hell in a Cell goes, there's only five matches here, and I really don't see how they're going to stretch out CM Punk versus Ryback in the cell. Um, it's just, it's going to be a very, very tough match for CM Punk to pull off. And I don't know if Ryback's going to be able to go that long and keep the fans into it. It's just, I don't see that happening. So with only five matches, I expect a lot of filler, or each match has to go 30 minutes long. So there probably is going to be some filler on this show. Uh, maybe Cesaro versus Justin Gabriel in a rematch or something like that. Just some random matches, a Divas match maybe. Um, but for right now, we only have the five announced, so those are the ones I'm going to do. And I'm going to start with Kofi Kingston versus The Miz. I see Kofi Kingston keeping the Intercontinental title here only because I see them putting it on someone like Damian Sandow in the future. And that's really the only reason I think Kofi won it in the first place was because they want Sandow to win it and they don't want him to beat a heel, so they put it on Kofi so that he can lose it. Um, I really don't think this is like a, the start of a big push for Kofi Kingston or anything. I do think he's just going to lose the belt eventually. Um, so Randy Orton versus Alberto Del Rio. I could care less about this. I enjoy Del Rio's work, but this feud is nothing. There is nothing to this at all. Um... I'm going to say Randy Orton wins here. Seems predictable, and either way, if they drag this one out, it's just not an interesting feud, so it doesn't really matter either way, but I'm going to go with Randy Orton just because he's the WWE guy. Uh, Team Hell No versus Team Road Scholars. I do see Road Scholars winning the tag titles here simply because they really built up that tag team tournament. And it just doesn't make sense for them to build up this tournament and then have the winners lose. So I, I actually think we're going to get new tag team champions, and then hopefully this will cause a split between Kane and Daniel Bryan. They can feud. Daniel Bryan goes over. They continue to push him. And Kane can feud with a returning Mark Henry, maybe. Something like that. Uh, Sheamus versus The Big Show. I know a lot of people think that Big Show is going to possibly win here, and then Dolph Ziggler is going to cash in just like Daniel Bryan did, but I don't see that happening. I think this is just another way to put Sheamus over and make him look like a huge monster babyface. So I see the the usual happening with Sheamus winning. And for CM Punk versus Ryback, um, I actually think because... I believe the WWE wants to keep the belt on Punk, and they want to keep Ryback's streak. And what I think is going to happen, and may, I mean, there's a good chance it's not, obviously, but if I was in the WWE's position, and you have this tough call here, because you can't go by disqualification and have Punk lay him out with a title or something like that because it's in the cell. So what I would do is have Brock Lesnar come back, Ryback is beating the crap out of Punk. He's just destroying him after a 15 minutes, maybe, if they can even get that much out of him. Um, if they can at least get 15 minutes, it's, it's going to be disappointing. But if they can at least get 15 minutes out of Ryback, and he's just destroying Punk at the end, powerbombing him and all this stuff, Brock Lesnar comes back with Paul Heyman, rips the door off the cell, kind of like Kane did, and helps Punk escape. That way, nobody wins. Nobody loses. That's the simplest way, in my opinion, to get this done. Just have Brock come out and rip the door off and leave with Punk. So, Ryback will look strong and Punk will still be the heel champion. That's really the only way they can do it and keep everything intact. So, that's what I think is going to happen. Maybe something a little different, but um, it's going to have to be something like that so that Punk can escape the cell. But yeah, either way, I do not see this match being very good because if it's going to go really long, it's just 
Ryback's going to be exposed. And if it's really short, people are going to be disappointed because this is the only match in the cell. And it's called Hell in a Cell. So I'm really not sure what the hell is going to happen here. I don't expect a lot from this pay-per-view. Sheamus Big Show. The tag match should be good. Orton versus Del Rio could be good, but who cares? Kofi versus The Miz should be good. Um, and Punk versus Ryback is a toss-up. So, yeah, I'm not really expecting a lot from this pay-per-view, but who knows? Maybe it'll be a big surprise, and I really like the show. I don't know. But anyway, those are my predictions for this Sunday's pay-per-view, Hell in a Cell. Um, hope you guys like this video. Leave your thoughts and predictions on this pay-per-view in the comments below, and thanks for watching.